Good at YouTube, Toby from Oz again. Well, today's been an interesting day, and um, this is one part of the interesting day. This is a Mammoth steam railway steam engine. Um, it's got a little whistle and a blow off and a water fill regulator at the front. It is missing one cylinder, so it probably needs a bit of a repair. I might have to uh, talk to Emma about how best to repair that. It's uh, made in England. This little hatch at the back comes out, which allows you to check the water level. Crack there. I don't know if that means that's damaged glass that needs replacing. There's a little screw in thimble there, which releases the burner, which I'm thinking must be just a metho burner, spirit burner. We've got a little cap that closes in the top and three little wicks. And that looks like it heats the tank and also the output line. Just a final bit of heat on the output line. The regulator assembly there. Looks like that's what's controlling steam up. I don't know if that's any kind of setting or if that's just second hands or quite what. Maybe there's a steam overflow. Um, but I guess that regulation, that ro rotary valve would also allow steam into the two drive cylinders. So yeah, it looks like one cylinder's missing. Probably not too hard to replicate. I'll just make one for this side. But that was the first handy little piece of stuff. Let me just uh, put that all back together. talking to a guy who apparently from photographs has built himself a replica Repco Dragon. Now I actually made these badges up for a friend of mine who happened to have a Brabham. Um, he had an original vehicle and his, these discs were used on the four wheels and also on the center of the steering wheel. Um, so I've mentioned that these are available and um, he's grabbed those, he wants to put them in his replica. So that's pretty awesome. That's just some leftovers I had from when I made those for Mike Falcon. Also today, we had another bit of interest. And this little bugger 
has arrived. It's a little stand boiler. Complete with an outlet hose. Water gauge. Steam release valve. Pressure gauge. Butane burner and a very small. I wonder if it's got a number on there somewhere. Oh, yeah. Six, maybe? Six or nine? This end, the rubber o ring is perished. And I'm led to believe that you can buy a Bix style gas tank, refillable gas tank, or an adapter so that you can connect those up to disposable butane cylinders. So, why would we possibly want a boiler? Well, turns out. showed up in today's hunting. So I believe this is a displacement oiler. There's a witness mark on here, which is where this bolt is actually rubbing on the flywheel, just there. So that needs to be resolved. There is a bit of play in that little eccentric down there. But as far as the rest of the motion, it all looks really tight. There is. Uh, pretty direct action on all of that. So there's a bit of slop on the eccentric, which would therefore have a bit of slop on the steam valve. There's a bit of wear marking in there. The exhaust isn't covered up. I notice when that comes around, that comes very close. So that's another issue that I need to find out. Up top here. It's all fairly loose, so I don't know quite whether having a bit more of an angle here would be worth having, so that we run back of there. Cast base, looks like a cast flywheel, cast outer. It's got a number three in there. You can't see any of the markings or markings or anything. So, if anybody's got clues as to what this is, then it all is. Certainly um, has me intrigued. Oh, 
looks like it should run, with all my knowledge. You can tell, huh? Well, that's not going to run there. But, there's a bit of wear there. It's all cast here. Lovely bit of machining. These bits here are all loose. And there's definitely slot in the valve linkage. But that looks like a really fun project. Any information about this motor would be really, sorry, engine, steam engine. Really appreciated. Thank you. Catch you next time. It's also worth having a quick look at this lot. Uh, Dad managed to get a whole pile of watchmaker's tools. Um, this is the burner for the boiler. It's a Bix style, I understand. This is the fitting at the end of it. So I'm looking for a Bix style fuel tank. If anybody's got one of those in Australia, let me know. Um, this is where the gas fire comes into the boiler and of course a cute little pressure gauge and the sight glass coming out next. If you like this, please like, share and subscribe to keep me making more of these videos. Thanks guys. Catch you next time. Bye.